What's up guys, back with an awesome video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a bridge. So it's going to be something like this. So you can stand with two legs and just go down into a bridge. It's a good idea to know how to do a bridge from the floor first and then come back and always stretch before you do anything. And so one stretch is so you go in a bridge and then you just like, so let me just move. So basically what you do is you have to make your back leg, like your leg straight and then bend like rocking back and forth in a bridge. Like mostly 10 or 15 times. Um, and yeah, and you're going to do your wrist cause just because when you do a bridge, your hands are going to be like, and I don't want you to break your wrist, and your hands are probably going to be like, like that, and so I don't want you to like break your wrist, because it's possible. <laughs> I'm not scaring anybody. Um, so, and then you'll do your ankles, just so you don't sprain your ankle while you're doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and ooh, I'm playing with my putty. Um, and so next you're you're just going to be lying flat on your back, and you're just going to be lifting your torso and your legs, but not your feet. Everything else should be flat on the ground. Um, you're going to repeat that around 10 times. And once you um, feel confident, you can put your hands on your belly and do the exact same thing. Um, and after that, you're just going to lie flat on your belly. I was do, just demonstrating, I don't know what I was doing actually. So you're just gonna lie on your belly and just make your legs as straight as you can. Actually, it's not really supposed to be straight. It's just to flex or make your back a little more flexible, like your torso, a torso to your legs, which is your back. And this is how you can get into a bridge as much as pillows as you can find i just don't need that much because i already know how to do a bridge and if you're wondering how i learned how to do all my gymnastic tricks i was self-taught i learned everything by myself and so i'm awesome <laughs> i'm joking yeah i did learn all by myself but you can too even though you watch a video that does not mean you're not self-taught so I'm just demonstrating if you fall and then you just keep on trying and then because your head's going to like push you up and once you're confident every single time you get in a bridge from standing up you you put away a pillow and I'm just demonstrating how you can fail I don't know why <laughs> So interesting. Well, Bob, you don't need to do this. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, and then once you're really confident, you can just do it without. That's one strategy. Strategy. And the second strategy is, oh, I don't want you guys to see my messy walls, my messy door. So I'm going to turn it around where my horse sticker is. Okay, and so um, you just place your hands, like, and your fingers are placing down. Spread your legs from the wall, not too wide, because then it'll be, like, really hard, but also easy. And then just walk down, like so. And then, if you want to get up but don't want to put your back on the ground, you can just get up by walking. And then, you also have to stretch for this one, but we stretched at the beginning. 
So, yeah. And those are the two strategies to get your bridge. I hope, and like, you, if you do it for one day without any breaks, like water break, you can do water break and toilet break and obviously sleep. But other than that, um, no um, breaks, then I think you'll be able to get your bridge in a day. But maybe two days if you are definitely going to have breaks. Um, so, yep. Bye, guys.